In this video, I'll be showing you how to add custom ringtones and notifications to your Android phone. It's really easy on Android. You don't need any special apps or anything. Just connect your phone to your computer via the USB cable, and you should see a new device appear up in my computer. We want to go to the phone's internal storage, not the SD card. Then, look for the folder called Ringtones. It's super easy in Android because it's called Ringtones and you can actually access the files. Now here is a folder which contains anything you have added. You won't see the default ringtones that came with your phone because those are kind of hidden. But anything you add to this folder will appear as the list of possible ringtones you can select. I have some of these copied already, but literally all you do is drag and drop. Now it's copied. If I go to the phone into my settings, and it may be different, depends on your Android operating system and the version, of course, but you go into settings, Samsung phones is in my device, and then sounds and notifications is pretty standard, it's not usually that hidden, and then go down to ringtones. Now you see a list of ringtones. That one we just dragged, 00 Hyundai Motor Group. It appears at the top of the list because I prefixed it with a zero. I like to name my files like that, so they always appear at the top of the list. And you see, you can just select it like that. Those options on the phone exactly match these files here, which are the ones you can easily access and edit. Say you want to delete something, you just say delete. I don't want to do that yet. Say you wanted just a part of the song. Well, if you have a longer thing, I'd recommend grabbing it into some audio editor because after 30 seconds your voicemail picks up, and if it's shorter than 30 seconds, it'll repeat. And this is Audacity Editor. Any sound editor would work, and I'll put a link in the description, but Audacity is pretty easy. All you need to do is take a look at this song and say... Say, let's jump. Jump to the middle part. Click here where it starts to get interesting. Hold down shift and click home to select everything first. Delete key. Now I'm going to trim off anything after 30 seconds. And then I'll do file, export audio. And then you could just save it here. Give it a name. Choose from a bunch of file types. For me, I found Android recognized AAC, OGG, FLAC, but it didn't recognize WAV files. Obviously, MP3 files, but you need to download the lame encoder if you want to be able to export MP3 files. I have a video on that. Or you could just choose any of these other options that your Android phone recognizes. And then you just click Save, say OK, and that new file will be here, and we could easily drag it to the phone. Notifications are no more complicated. Just go back into the phone and find the Notifications folder. This is your added notifications in addition to the ones that came with the phone. I have a notification here. I'm going to drag it to the phone. Back to the phone there, and you see Notification. Go to the top. Zero, zero, spirit. And there you can easily add the ringtone. For notifications, you probably get around one to three seconds, so that's definitely another use for Audacity is to trim stuff down very short. And that's basically it. It's really easy to add ringtones and notifications on Android.